This what else I wanted to start asking people. <coughs> is the whole... Is the freak, like... I'll be the one to say it, man. Do y'all think the 2017 through 2019 wave of music is, is, is over? What do y'all think? And give y'all context, like them artists from that time. Let's say I post I posted it the other day. It was like I had them all in the in the collage. I was thinking about this shit. I'm like, yo, we gotta start talking about this shit and seeing like what the people think. Cause me personally, like outside looking in, it's like, man, it's some time for some young, new young talent to come across, but we still be stuck in the past. Is it time? So, like, I had who I had on there. I had um, 2K Mel on there, B.O. Smoke on there, Flame on there, BMP on there, Capo, Mopstick. Like, like, is that shit over? Because I still see we be, like I say, I don't see these, like, not, not as consistent as it was. Like, niggas doing shows, niggas, you know, dropping music, doing the numbers, running up the numbers. It's like... This shit kind of not like it, it exists, but like they not they not y'all know what I'm saying. Actively being in the culture, dropping music, doing interviews, trying to make it. They gotta, either they gotta pass the torch to somebody and get a torch to somebody to start, you know, doing they shit, or they gotta step up to the plate. Cause in a while, the young niggas gonna pop off and gonna blow past niggas and not really even care. So it's like they're going to be local legends forever. <clears throat> Which ain't nothing wrong with that, but shit. Like, we had it, niggas had a good run, though. Like, I had, and I too, I put the people from, like I said, 2017, I think it was 2018, 2017, between 2017 2019, the guys who, who was having a run. I ain't put nobody before that. I came, I put where in when Glass TV really came in and started, you know, covering niggas. So, like, no talking, no talking days. I'm a dog, Rover, regardless with Flame, his other shit he got. Like, where these guys at? Is <clears throat> the music at? Niggas don't even drop albums, projects. I think the only one out of these people I'm naming for real really dropped is Capo. Like, he stay consistent with music, but he be posting his shit. He do millions of streams. But with Capo shit, it's like, do his shit really go out outside of Virginia and, and other places? But, like, what is presence like? He said, niggas getting money, they chilling. Okay, that's cool. You know, I'm doing the music, man. So that's why, you know, I'm, I'm, I know these guys from being a rappers and shit. So that's all I really be speaking on. The rap shit. All right. Y'all not, y'all not really rappers no more. Shit, Glass ain't finna look at y'all like y'all rappers and shit. Then, all right, go be trap niggas or fathers or whatever the fuck y'all want to be. But, yeah. Mob stick locked up. Capo dropping music. BMP rarely dropped music. Flame disappeared. He don't drop music. He had like some of the biggest potential too, man. Um, who else I had up there? Dios, he I I don't even think he dropped music anymore. I asked him about it during our interview. Y'all should go watch that interview, man. He addressed everything. I asked him everything, like, and y'all know me and that guy, we did not get along. So that was a genuine interview. <clears throat> he answered every question. I definitely had to ask about the gay rumor though and getting shot, man. That was some wild shit. Back to back. Every he said every three years a new wave comes out. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna see. I'm not counting them out, but niggas had some of the best potential, some of the biggest potential, and they just disappeared. Like where the hell they go? And I, I see people don't really speak on it. They'll still mention their names and still probably listen to their music, but where they go? <laughs> like do they wanna be rappers? 
I don't see none of these niggas on Say Cheese, doing interviews, and traveling other states, doing shows and shit. Some of them, I'm not going to say none, but from that 2017 to 2019 era. Same with 804. I remember 804. 804 had their wave, <clears throat> had their time. So the same thing with 804. But some of them 804 guys still having a, they, they, you know, just do it. Like, chop. Um, they came, they came after that uh, uh, 2017, 2019 wave. I think that was like 2020. 2020. He said they live in life. People make a name, then get paid like every other human. That's cool. He said, uh, what about Tay Squilla? Yo, I haven't heard that name in a while. Tay Squilla has some of the best p potential too. I thought once he got on stage with, with PNB Rock at that Jacquee show, I thought he was out of here. Like, I thought he was finna take off. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these guys, where they at? Now, I know what some of them <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna lie, so I can't say what some of them at. I know what some of them at, but where are they at? Tay Squilla just curious when Dom in Newport News. That joint was like one of the first crossover joints. I'm on stream too, so ask me what y'all wanna ask me. But yeah, 804 too. Them, them guys had their wave. Some of them guys, most of our rappers can't stay out of jail too. Like, I don't know what's up with this. I don't know. Per I, I think I think like I don't think like like folks believe in the music shit for real. Cause I never seen like mostly with with even our area of Virginia shit, niggas get their money <clears throat> and start investing in like their music. Like it's rare. It's rare. It's su it was super rare. Like I I posted a post about it the other day. It was like Niggas be skinny with the videos, like they don't want to pay for their videos and shit like that. Outfit be fresh as hell. Video be clean as hell. Music might sound cool. Promotion game is trash. Don't see them nowhere. Post one time. Get they buzz. Don't, you know, be super geeked up like they them guys. You don't really hear from them no more. This shit the long game, like that's what I be like, damn. Cause we had plenty hits now. We had plenty, we had plenty hits. Like, I wouldn't say hits, but like, you know, um, songs that could travel. If your song hit a million views, bro, and you coming from Virginia, that is big. If you hit a hundred thousand in Virginia, that's big, like that's big, like. We don't have the market. You look at the you look at DC DMV area market. They market is good and suitable to do a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, and run it up organically like that. You feel me? That's like they normal. Virginia though, you run up a hundred thousand. That's big. You do a million and it's organic. Huge. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't know how niggas looked at it. I always looked at it like. Hey, a million views, you really somebody in your market, and not many hit million views. It be niggas too, y'all think hit millions of views. You better go look. Just care, I'm telling you, just curious was one of the ones. Rover, curious, and regardless was the biggest. Rover, Rover, curious, and regardless was the biggest in Newport New. What about a uh, hip full of gun? With uh, Toy, I got a hip full of gun. What other song was big coming out of there? We ain't going, we ain't, we ain't going back the way back to Fur Kwan and shit. Nah, we ain't doing that. That's too old. <laughs> it ain't many songs though. Who has some other big records? I don't know. Is it over? That's what I want to know. Like the guy, the artist disappeared. They don't drop music. Presto, Presto had shit too. He was like one of the first niggas going viral. I remember saying that nigga Presto. I used to be like, yo, what's this fucking sound he keep making? Like, this old, yeah. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck is that? And I was saying, and then people were like, hey, that's this nigga that's on, you know, he a rapper and shit. 
it's just he always kind of reminded me of Soldier Boy. 